What's good, YouTube? If you're watching this video, you successfully made it to layer seven of the OSI model where we give you nothing but that application you can apply directly to your life. I'm your host, Dewan. If you've been following me, you know that I've been working on my CompTIA Linux Plus certification, exam number XK0-004, and the results are in. Before we continue, I have to let you know that this video and my journey has been sponsored by the good folks over at CompTIA. Thank you CompTIA for this experience. Thank you to my family, my friends, the Linux huddle, and you, the subscribers of this channel. I know you've been wondering where I've been and if I passed the exam. In this video, I'm going to share with you my exam results, some study tips to help you prepare for the Linux Plus exam, along with some tips that you can actually apply on your actual exam test date. So you'll want to stay tuned for the entire video because it's loaded with information to help you on your certification journey. Now let's talk about where I've been. So on September the 9th, I tested for the CompTIA Linux Plus. And to be honest with you, I failed. This hit me hard at first. I thought I was ready. Like I really thought I was ready. I'll share more about knowing exactly when you're ready later in the video, so stay tuned for that. Initially, I felt really disappointed in myself. I felt like I let Kantia down, I felt like I let my family down, and I felt like I let you all down. And that was really tough to deal with. But after thinking about it and taking some time to reflect, I realized that it wasn't the first time that I failed, and it's not gonna be the last time that I failed. Not just in certification exams, but in life. It's just a part of the journey. And if you know me, you know that I'm all about embracing the journey. So once I realized that this wasn't going to be the last time that I actually felt there's something in life, I decided to create a new plan of attack and attempt the Linux Plus certification exam again. Here we're going to talk about four tips that you can use to prepare for your certification exam. Number one, reflect. Whenever you take a certification exam and you fail, and the results are not what you want, my suggestion is that immediately after the exam, write down everything that you remember. I know your emotions are high. I know you may feel bad about not passing the exam, but trust me, this information will be extremely valuable in your preparation for your second attempt or your next attempt, your third attempt, whichever attempt may be, Write down everything that you remember. The goal of writing down this information is to use it to strengthen the areas that you were weak on in this exam. Another tidbit, whenever you take an exam, they often let you know the areas that you missed and that you may want to go back and study. Use that information as well when you start to prepare again for your certification. All right, number two, and this may be the most important when it comes to honing in your focus, and that is eliminate those distractions. This can be tough to do. Like many of you, I work a full-time job that's very demanding. I have a family of four with a newborn baby, and I'm trying to learn several different technologies all at the same time. So what we have to do in order to eliminate those distractions is prioritize things like TV, Netflix, social media, and everything else that's extracurricular we have to kind of eliminate, eliminate those and put those to the wayside until we actually achieve our goal of passing this certification. I know it's football season and I love the Browns as much as you do, but to be honest with you, if I don't pass this exam, then I'm not gonna enjoy the game. That's just that. All right, number three, exam objectives. In the description of this video below, you'll find a link to the CompTIA Linux Plus exam objectives. Here, is your detailed guide to certification success. If you can know and apply the exam objectives, you will pass the certification exam. And I'll talk more about this here in my next tip, but knowing is studying, watching your videos and all of that good stuff. But then the application is being able to apply it in the lab, the exam or on your job. So taking this information from the exam objectives and what I often do is apply it in my OneNote, and then from there, I can create a detailed structure outline that allows me to go over each topic in detail and put my own notes in there that I can use to say, okay, I know this. And then writing it in my own words gives me an idea or the 
mindset of, yeah, I truly know this because I can write it the way I understand it. Okay, tip number four, lab. As you can see from my sweatshirt, I am the creative lab every day. And to be 100% honest with you, when I took the Linux Plus exam, I didn't lab every day. Reason being, Linux was something I always avoided. So for me, it was like, yeah, I don't really understand this. So it was like, read, watch videos. And I created about 300 note cards to just memorize and soak up as much information as possible. And then when I got an exam, that showed. Linux is not just about knowledge of information. It's about the application of that inf information. When you're at that command line, you have to be able to implement those commands. So labbing is very important when you're preparing for this Linux Plus certification. One more takeaway. The reason why I have to lab is because I realize that I'm a kinesthetic learner, meaning that I learn by doing rather than hearing and seeing. Many of you may be the same, but my suggestion is that you find what works best for you. The quicker you can learn how you learn, the more successful you'll be when you work towards certifications, when you work, are working on a job, when you're trying to learn a new technology. It's important to understand how you learn best. And for me, it's labbing every day. Okay, so after spending about two weeks applying the tips that I just mentioned to you, I scheduled my second attempt at the Linux Plus certification exam. You may be asking, how did I know I was ready for the exam? Well, as I mentioned before, using the exam objectives as the ultimate guide of truth is key. Not only did I know and understand the information that I was reading and learning, but I was also able to apply it with ease. Therefore, I knew I was ready for the exam. Fast forward to September 24th, 2019. <sighs> This is my second attempt for the Linux Plus certification. I was frustrated, I was nervous, and I was focused. I learned a few things from my previous failure that I applied on this attempt, and I'd like to share those with you. Number one, whenever you're going into any certification exam, manage your time. On my first attempt, I did not manage my time well at all. I would get to a question, and I would get stuck on a question and I'll try and figure it out, work through it, and time would just pass by. And then it got to be about five minutes left on the exam and I had about 20 questions still left, which caused me to speed through those 20 questions and ultimately not pass an exam. So my first tip is to manage your time on this exam. Now you may be asking how to manage your time. Which leads us to number two, flag what you don't know. The cool thing about this Linux Plus exam is that you can flag questions that you don't know and come back to them later. And then also when you're taking the exam, you can go back and you can go forward in the exam, which is v really cool. So if you get to a question that you don't know, flag it and come back to it later. Answer the ones that you do know, focus on those, get all the way through the exam. And once you, you're done, Look at the ones you have flagged, go back, answer those, because you never know. You may get to a question that you know, and it may answer a question that you don't know. So don't rush through it. Take your time and answer the ones you do know, and then flag the ones you don't know. And then once you get through and answer everything, go back through it one more time just to make sure you have all the questions answered how you like, but don't second guess yourself. And that's actually number three, don't second guess yourself. If you go through and you feel confident about something, answer it, move on, and just be confident that you'll pass the exam. Now, these are all the tips that I follow. And I'm happy to announce that I am now Linux Plus certified. Whew. Ah, that was such a journey. I'm not gonna lie to you how hard this was for me. It was a challenge, but I did it. I didn't give up and I made it happen. And you can too. I would love to hear your thoughts on your preparation for the Linux Plus. Let me know if you're preparing for the Linux Plus. If you have questions, 
In the description, I have a detailed blog post that goes very in depth with CompTIA on the Linux Plus certification. I also have a video on everything you need to know to prepare for the Linux Plus certification right here. So check that video and also check my full exam experience blog post with CompTIA in the description. I thank you all for your continuous support. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.